This right here is the Carvera Air Desktop CNC Machine by Makera. Beautiful, stylish and super compact. Just look at that, no kidding, this is a fully enclosed desktop CNC system that brings pro level accuracy to a coffee table footprint. You're looking at this very compact, fully enclosed machine with ball screws and linear rails. Top notch tech, it is designed to carve wood, plastics, brass and even aluminum with confidence and inside here right there is a 200 watts spindle closed loop with up to 13,000 RPM giving you stable torque and clean finishes without constant fiddling. The work area inside here is sized for real projects and the enclosure keeps chips, debris and the noise in check. It's perfect for studios, for classrooms and even for tiny apartments. And with add-ons you can unlock even more, check this out, a laser module and a fourth axis, I have it all right right here, the fourth axis rotary of course for cylindrical work and a diode laser module for engraving, both simple and quick drop in options. And talking about software, Makera's own cam is very beginner friendly, but you can also run Fusion 360 or VCarve if that's your workflow. The connectivity is straightforward and the footprint, it fits everywhere. On a bench, it's about 19.7 by 17.7 by 17.7 inches and the setup is literally place, plug it in, pro and cut. So if you have been waiting for a literally desktop sized mill that's safer, that's quieter and upgrade ready without the enterprise pricing well, that's the video for you. So yeah, it looks and sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. New drip. I got the new drip from Makehera, their brand new Carvera Air desktop CNC machine. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you here. Yeah, now let's check it out. There we have the box. Check this out. Front side. This box is no joke. Team lift, yes, because the box is over 35 kg. Nice carrying handles, really sturdy, reinforced, of course, on both sides. And here we have all the stickers. Great corner protection as well on all sides, top and bottom. Great packaging. Yeah, now let's take a look inside. And here we go. Please keep the box with a tutorial as well. And underneath here, we have yet another great top cover, a wooden one. It's really top tier packaging with more corner protection even inside and right there we have the paperwork massive padding on top and here we already have the machine it's definitely not a mistake to watch the tutorial this machine is such a beast but i think we can get it done i will just pull out all the padding on the sides also these right and this should make it easy for me to just pull it out like that all right so the box is now empty. Let's also remove the wrap because in here is all the rest of the accessories. Yes, let's go. Now we can open up the cover. We can now also pull out this one carefully. And in here we have the rest of the accessories. Everything is nicely labeled. This one and then one more down here. We can pull this one out sideways. There we go with the lid again. And now we can remove this one as well. Also here is how to operate the cover. Then on the inside, on this one and this one. All right, so everything is in pristine condition. Beautiful, magnetic, really awesome. We'll just snap on. A really neat system, by the way. Pull it up, slide it back, and now it will hold up pretty nice. Yeah, and here are all the accessories, so let's move on right away. Five boxes, one bag. Let's get it all out and now check this out. The amount of accessories, which is covering two tables, gives you a bit of the scope. We gotta move fast. We have the toolkits with these contents right here and we have it all in this nice case. Really high quality parts. Look at that, absolutely flawless quality. Next, we have all the accessories with these contents right here. Here we have tons of additional tools and bits as well as mounting hardware. Also a really nice emergency stop button the probe, a phone holder, but also the AC cable, for example. We also have a box with materials from acrylic plates all the way to copper and aluminum right there. And to be specific, these are the contents, LED light assembly kit, also 
a mini hand saw, really cool. Inside of this bag, we got the guide, these spare covers, also the mounting plate, two millimeters MDF, also stickers, and then of course detailed manuals. So first of all, the example guide right here, LED light, laser engraving, three axis and fourth axis. So we have the preparation, the LED light, then also how to build the circuit for it. Everything is very detailed and descriptive. That's a really nice guide and tutorial book right here. Wow, that's really, really cool. And when we move on, we will now find the laser engraving. That's an image that you can do and we'll check out the accessories in a bit. Here we are already getting into the actual milling. We get the detailed instructions as before and here also for the fourth axis right there. Really awesome for the era of makers, make era. I get it. That's awesome. And a detailed instruction manual. So as you can tell by the amount of accessories and parts, we do have some quite a bit of setup and assembly to do. But as you can see, that's an awesome manual, very detailed. That's quite the project right here. And it's a beautiful machine with beautiful parts. Absolutely lovely. So let's keep going. Here we have the laser module with these contents, the safety goggles, and we also have dedicated paperwork for that. That's it right here. And lastly, the fourth axis with the contents. And it's looking like that really cute chuck right there. Just look at that. I love it. And also dedicated paperwork right there and right there. And for all of these, we'll get a QR code that will guide us to a detailed operation video. And there we go. So as you can see, there is a lot to it. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions. And then of course, to a close overview. So the board, let's put it aside again, the lid is extremely nice. Let's lock it in place. It is absolutely beautiful from all sides, from all angles. And now we can see the powerful spindle, the power train, the wiring, the tubing, really nice. Here the probe is already pre-installed. And look at those thick rails. That is awesome, ensuring the precision. Rock solid. It's not moving whatsoever. That's what I call quality. And now let's take a close look. So this little dust cover, dust guide, really nice TPU with the tubing going through here and then out of the back right there, here also ventilation, also this connector for a Bowden tube. Let's keep going on the back. We have data, we have charging, main power, more connectors for the emergency stop, for example. All the small print right here, really nice metal body all the way around, more ventilation. And here, nice branding on the side. Inside of the lid, we have a nice seal that will not only seal the bottom, but also the side right here. Ingenious design on the bottom as well. We have the ball screw as well as the super thick guide rails. Really, it's not moving whatsoever. A zero backlash, at least when I try to wiggle it. Looks absolutely beautiful. Limit switch right there. Everything is super solid. Also here, the little limit switch right there and right there for homing. And the bottom construction gives us super clean insides, as you can see. Also part of the ceiling right here, really nice details. Very thought out. I could keep going, but let's just move on. We gotta get going. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up, check out the software, and then of course test it. So we either have the option to go with a mobile device and go with the phone holder or tablet holder on the side, or as in my case, setting up a PC setup with a screen and then just connecting over Wi-Fi. I was struggling a bit with the Wi-Fi configuration because it was always grayed out, but we just gotta connect first of all here over Wi-Fi, just like that. And then when we're connected, then we can do the Wi-Fi configuration. We're now connected to the controller and this machine, it's all about learning by doing. So I will go through the projects one by one. I can't wait. Really cool status light. So let's go. And we do have the option of attaching a vacuum right here or air assist right there. But the quickest way, the easiest and fastest way to get started is simply to tape on any vacuum, just like this one. When you think about it, this will also give you air assist and you will achieve better results for the laser engraver. So whether it's blowing away the air or sucking it out, I think that's also a decent way to get the same result. And that's pretty much it. Set up the Wi-Fi, set up a vac, and then we're good to go. And as you can see, I'm already fully into the process and the results are actually amazing.
This is going to be a hands-on test to really find out if this machine performs as advertised. So after installing the MDF board so that the underlying metal structure will not get damaged, we also have to install the anchor point in the corner and then we can already clamp up the work pieces with the screws and then it's all about getting to know the probing process and then it's pretty much always a multi-step process you start with the probe then with the first mill then with the second mill it will beep and notify you when it's time to change the tools it's really super simple you just pull the lever then a large abs piece milling out the stand and lastly the acrylic just engraving tons of details it's a joy to watch it go and just the vacuum taped on all already works really nice. There are additional accessories available for purchase that work even better, but as a quick fix, it works great. So check this out. First of all, the PCB milling, incredible details already. Then we made the base from ABS and lastly, the actual display right here. Super fine details with the engraver. And then there is also the option of a touch switch and you could either assemble the PCB with the parts, but there is also a pre-assembled one. And then the assembly is as easy as clipping it in with the LEDs facing upwards. We can then screw it tight and then we just need to insert the main element and power it. And now check this out. There are many different design options. There is a balloon and stuff like that. And this first project already demonstrates the extreme versatility. PCB making plexiglass ABS and the additional aluminum option. And it's also a great way to get to know the device, how to switch the tools, how to probe it. And next let's move on to the laser module. The laser engraving works pretty much the same. We clamp down our workpiece, then probe it, and then we just switch out the probe, not to a mill, but this time to the laser module. It will slot right in and just work. Here we have the result. Check this out. The laser module literally just slots in like a tool. It's so easy to switch this from a CNC to a laser engraver with a really fine detailed results. And believe me, it will get even more detailed. So let's move on. With this we're entering the world of rough and fine cuts. To save time we first do a coarse pass, remove the bulk of the material and then a second pass with a really small and precise milling bit. That's a job that will take more time but it's absolutely worth the effort because this insane amount of fine passes will yield crazy results. Check this. So here we have the result. Check this out. I have already sorted out the tabs and now look at that. Look at the level of the details right here. This was a two-step process. First of all roughing it out and then with the engraving bit going over in really small increments. Look at that. Just incredible. Look how large my finger is in comparison. The level of details, the precision is incredible. And the 3D effect is also really cool. And lastly let's bring in the fourth axis. And now expanding it with a fourth axis. It's so fast and simple, it's unbelievable. Probing is a bit different, it's actually easier and faster. And just like that we can get rotary work done as well. I have never used a CNC in my life and all of that went so smoothly, it's incredible. Now check this out, just as before, there are actually two steps to this. First of all the roughing and then also a fine pass with the finishing touches bringing out the details. But I thought, hey, why not show you the rough cut as well and almost as simple as slotting in the laser module you can install the fourth axis and that's ease of use that is unheard of. A fourth axis is extremely advanced milling and the Carvera Air makes this possible even for beginners. The guides are super detailed, you will get to know this machine perfectly and it's also a great starting point for even more advanced projects. As you saw it's reliable, it's fast, extremely precise and the level of details that you can achieve with this machine crazy. So massive thumbs up from my side, the Carvera Air is absolutely amazing. So as you saw, incredible build quality as well as hardware with a really neat, super compact design. It looks epic and all those features and capabilities for such an incredible price point. It is amazing, top tier value right here. So much better than the competition in all regards, especially in this price segment. Goes to show that Makehara always brings amazing value to the table with great looking machines and a top of the line ecosystem. And the Carvera Air gives you the perfect mix, the perfect balance of precision, of power and practicality in a true 
desktop form. 200 watts, 13K RPM spindle with a closed loop so it will always know where it is, what's going on, no lost steps ever, ball screw and linear rail motion, it's very precise, close to zero backlash, and the fully enclosed chassis keeps the noise and all the dust and debris and chips contained and the materials from plastic to woods to aluminum are fair game and upgrades such as the laser module for detailed engravings that will also work together with the fourth axis for rotary work just incredible and even the software side is awesome makehara cam is tuned for this machine while fusion 360 or vcarve can slot right in as well. Now this footprint is very workshop friendly and the whole accessories ecosystem from the probes to the MDF beds to the dust options means that you can dial it in to your needs exactly what you need whether it's for a hobby or for a real side hustle. So if you want a super small but super powerful desktop sized CNC machine that's even powerful enough for aluminum and also flexible enough to grow with your skills then the Carvera Air is just that and that's of course a definitely drippy so check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.